Bata ndiva ka tenje mfuetu Hindone ngati ni angula nje Bati wala la minisati wa mata msanga mama First of all, it is imperative that we define culture. What is culture? Culture. Culture is a design for living. It includes our values, beliefs, behaviors, and practices. It also speaks to the material objects that constitute a people's way of life. Melville Hertzkovitz's main argument is slavery did not totally destroy the African culture and that, in fact, African culture has survived in various forms in the Caribbean. Certain cultural phenomena must be seen in the light of African cultural retention. Syncretism. This is the practice of identifying elements in the new culture with parallel components of the African culture. For example, Catholic saints are identified with African deities such as the Afro-Cuban Orisha deity who closely resembles the Catholic Mary. Also, Caribbean forms of carnival are a combination of the Catholic carnival celebrations before Lent and African rituals to appease the gods. Reinterpretations. African culture is reinterpreted to suit the new environment. The cultural practice no longer necessarily looks like traditional retention on the surface, but on closer examination, what appears to be a unique West Indian construct is in its essence African retention. An example of this is the reinterpretations of African 
polygamy as progressive monogamy. Let's now look at survivals. These are cultural forms that closely resemble the original African forms. For example, burying the umbilical cord of a child and planting a fruit tree over it. Nine night or wake celebrations. Boiling herbs for illnesses such as fever grass also known as lemongrass for fever ginger or mint tea for gas come we just a come lord come we just a come hey, yeah. come we just a come we coffee mash them down Quack. come we just a come Kick up. come we just a come hey, yeah. come we just a come we coffee mash them down come on bratwit a historian was inspired by a seminar held by Robert Adams in 1957, wherein he described Creole culture. Following this, he saw Creole culture or Creolization as a process of cultural change which occurs at two levels. There is acculturation where he speaks to the binding of two cultures by force. Then there is interculturation where the exchange of cultural traits between the two groups is not planned and is mutual. This type of exchange takes place as a result of geographical and historical factors. His theory becomes applicable when one looks at the Caribbean region. In the Caribbean, Creolization came about out of colonization, the slave trade, and migration, which brought ethnic groups and cultures together to form a new society. He describes Creole people as those who have lived here, were brought here, and were born here. Interculturation comes about when persons begin to become creative. In order to continue with their traditions, Africans incorporated African rituals into Christian practices. They formed groups like the Revivalists, Maya Group, Zionist, and the Shouter Baptist. Interculturation, however, was not limited to the slaves. Europeans were vastly outnumbered by Africans, meaning that their influence must have been felt by the Europeans. And, in order to communicate, in addition to this, Caribbean Europeans spoke with an accent that was distinct from born Europeans. Caribbean interculturation does not stop here, but it moves with immigration. The Indians which settled in Trinidad, Suriname, and Guyana brought with them their cultural practices which have been incorporated into the Afro-European culture that had already existed. There were things such as the dal and curry and roti which are no longer unique to Indians but are also enjoyed by the wider populace as a part of Caribbean culture. Me a bleach, me diva business, me a bleach, me diva business, fierce white like flower, no weevil business, fierce white like flower, no weevil business.